So for those of you that know, I have recently had my last session of therapy, really. I've got a few follow-ups, as I always say, but my one-to-one -one therapy is pretty much coming to a close. I've been left with some non-negotiables for the week, or therapy rules, I call them. Today, I wanna focus on doing them, on being productive, on treating myself well, and treating myself with a lot more compassion. Time to get up. The day is not wasted. The day is not wasted. The first therapy rule is to exercise three or two times a week for 30 minutes. Now for some people that will feel like a lot and some people will probably ask me why I'm even bothering to do it. But for the past three months, I have been to the gym, I think about five or six times. And so this is a good start. This is a good start for me. It makes me feel so good when I exercise and move my body. But when I was in the gym today, I was feeling weak. Let me tell you, there was a lot of breaks. There was a lot of sitting down. And I was mainly there just to kind of get myself there and tick the box. Because half of the effort and half of getting into routine is just going there. So I feel happy with how much I did, regardless of how short I was in there. Um, I hope you can hear me. I feel like you won't be able to because A, I have my headphones on and B, I think there's someone gardening. Um, I've just finished the gym. I was only in there for like half an hour, well, like half an hour, 40 minutes. And I was getting really tired, which is not surprising because I haven't really gone very much. Um, but that's fine. Like I literally sat down and kept chilling. Um, this is just so reminded of that. We're being kind to ourselves today. And I'm walking back via the park so I can sit and don't walk. Don't walk. Don't walk. Um, still wearing my ironic jumper and I'm hoping people realize it's ironic that's embarrassing if not. Time is about 3 p.m. After waking up, eating breakfast, going to the gym, eating lunch, having a shower, doing my skincare, it is 3 p.m. We are trying to practice focusing on the things that I have managed to do rather than things that I haven't managed to do. Realistically, there is still a lot more time in my day for me to do things that I need to do. I need to like practice telling myself that and make that a bit more realistic because that is something that I personally struggle with. I do have um, group therapy at 6 p.m. So I have about two hours and a half to crack on and do some work and then I'll probably finish doing some when I am back after dinner. But now I'm going to really try my hardest to just get a little bit of stuff done because that was also important in making sure my mental health is good too. This is just your reminder that it doesn't matter when your day starts as long as you start it. You always have enough time. I feel like I could literally be more productive in two hours than I can be across a full day as long as I'm in the right mindset. It's just getting into that mindset at the moment is proving difficult, but alas. I have got to film a few bits for a few different things and edit a few things so I'm going to get on with those and then afterwards we are going to work on one of my other non-negotiables for Today is the day for my fortnightly room clear up actually not that bad like it's my depression room has got way worse it's more just like the nitty gritty stuff that i need to deal with today me and my therapist literally specifically discussed my wardrobe and specifically said how every two weeks i need to go through it this is absolutely chaotic this is a bit chaotic too but to be honest the most part like the floor and stuff that normally has a lot of stuff on is not too bad so i'm gonna put a little bit of music on i'm re-listening to bear's den I don't know if anyone used to listen to these. They're like really cute, like slow vibes. Um, and I've got about 45 minutes before I need to leave. Good vibes, good vibes, good vibes. <laughs> good vibes. I feel like I'm saging. I don't think this is how this works. We're getting somewhere. Okay, I've done the best I can, and now I've got to quickly go and have my group therapy. So, it's kind of, it's better. I'm having these like shooting pains in my uterus, which isn't ideal. A little bit about this group therapy is, as we know, I finished my therapy sessions one-on-one. -on -one. My therapist 
put me forward to a group therapy session. It's called the tree of life and this is my second week and it's basically like a group where you kind of talk about the recovery process or like it's, it's just a really positive group i was really nervous when i went last week because it's my first week and i was worried it was going to be firstly a lot of people my age and like young people and i don't know i was just kind of worried it wasn't going to be the vibe i wanted but when i got there it was really nice obviously they're meant to be really nice but they were really nice there was such a huge variety of people there which i think is so important and yeah it just focuses on like the positives about life and things so it's a really positive group and you get to draw i'm gonna quickly go because i'm gonna be late otherwise it was late last week wasn't i so i will walk and talk um, hi, I'm just walking back from my group therapy now. I stopped at co-op on my way because I actually don't know what I've got in for dinner, but I bought some gnocchi. So if I don't have anything, then I'm gonna have gnocchi. Um, but group therapy was super good this week. I feel like I am on a high from it. Not high, it's a bit too keen, but I feel like last week, I felt really good after leaving it, and this week I feel better just because I spoke more. Oh, wah! fuck me! Oh my god! Oh. Oh. Oh my god. That was crazy. Okay. Anyway, yeah, I feel like I spoke so much more this time than I did last time, and like it was a bit more kind of intense. Like it was more you're getting to know a little bit more about people so it was nice to be able to share a lot more um, than I had done before and like listen more I guess but then also we got to just draw for half an hour which I do thoroughly enjoy so I started drawing our trees which I will get more into when I get home but I'm just on my way back and I will be home in a couple minutes I don't really want you falling for me so for me, when my mental health gets particularly bad, I tend to find it really hard to cook things. I tend to fall into habits of the same foods over and over and over again. Like if I find a comfort meal, I tend to stick to that, which to be honest, there's nothing wrong with. My comfort meal is a big old wrap with like veggies and chicken, tatsiki, it's just amazing. So there's nothing wrong with having a good old comfort meal. However, I used to really enjoy cooking and I do really enjoy cooking. And if anyone watched the like New Year's resolution video I made, then you'll know that I said that I wanted to cook more. And so one of my therapy rules was to cook something new every week, which once again, it's something I struggle with. I oh, just massively got sidetracked. God, when I was on my way home, as you saw, I went to co-op. I picked up some gnocchi, which standard, to be honest. It's not really something new, but new is also just like cook something different. It doesn't have to necessarily be a new dish. It just has to be, let's be in the kitchen for at least half an hour. Practice making different things. And so I was in co-op and I was like, okay, what do I have at home? I bought seasonally the last time i went shopping which is great because everything is cheaper and everything is better but it does mean i'm left with a cabbage a butternut squash and a cauliflower that i don't really know what to do with so the cabbage is particularly rogue i think but it was like literally like 40p so i was like oh let's have a different veggie anyway so then i also yesterday yesterday i made just a huge bowl of spaghetti with tomato pasta uh, with tomato sauce and so i have a tomato sauce left over that i didn't use online there is a rogue recipe for fall apart caramelized cabbage which is basically this cabbage in like a tomato dish and like caramelized and it actually looks quite good not something i would normally put together but i'm gonna do that and then because I have this butternut squash that I need to eat, I'm just gonna chop her up into cubes and put her in the oven and have like a big roasted veggie bowl thing. I've also got the gnocchi, which to be honest, not sure if it really goes with the vibe. I should really use that gnocchi because it cost me three pounds. Anyway. So everything is cooking and I'm gonna start doing the cabbage. I would never normally go for cabbage or anything to do with cabbage, but it just felt right at the time. 40 minutes! 
Oh, better get cracking then. Oh my god. Yes, hair sizzle. It's upsetting me that this is so vegan. <laughs> okay, so I actually decided to do it in eights rather than in fours because I figured it would just click a bit faster. I'm starting to think that I do. Um, I don't want to talk about the time, but I have finished. I couldn't work out if I was going to have something with it, um, like a like a fake meat, slightly overcooked but it's because the cabbage was going to be in there for way longer than I realized. It actually does smell delicious. I'm actually quite excited about it. Well, I'll give you a close up. Yeah. Plate her up. And this is absolutely something I have put my heart and soul into. The carnivores are going to be like, where's the protein in that meal? Shock, did you realize that you could have protein throughout the day? But I'm going to have, this is also not mine. This is my flatmate's, but I'm going to have another one of these. I already have one of these. I don't think you can see how good it looks. Delicious. I'm gonna put like a little dressing on there, probably like a tahini dressing in a second. Bitch, you better be joking. These actually look and smell really good. This is probably not the most mature way to eat it, but here we are. Mm. You know what, that's actually delicious. Mm. I need just a knife really, but I also would have never done this had I not bought cabbage and had that leftover tomato. I'm actually gonna link this recipe. I always say that and always forget to do it, but I promise I'll do it this time. So you can actually make this. I'm actually really happy with my out. Wow, it's actually so good. Mm-hmm. Mm. Wow. Mm. This is why we make new food. Mm. They wanna take me away. So the last weekly non-negotiable thing is definitely probably the one I very much find it easy to not do, but I'd argue that it is the most important. My therapist calls it re-energizing or renewing, rejuvenating time. And that basically means one time a week, I need to spend some time just back in reality, I guess, away from my phone and anything like that, just time for me and for me to be creative or me to do something that's important to me, that something fun to do. Like, I don't know if you were around in 2020 when I was making a rug. <laughs> Not very, say, I say making very loosely. Sorry, I'm changing the brightness. I say making very loosely, but it was a like, stamp rug. Gosh, it's quite late. Oh, I am going to continue slash try crochet. I crocheted some gloves last year and I'm going to retrain myself to do that this year. I originally was gonna make a jumper, which is kind of what I started, do oh fuck. It's kind of what I started doing here. You can kind of see, look how like I started doing it, but I wasn't doing it particularly well. So I'm gonna undo all of this and I'm going to go on YouTube and try and find a tutorial thing. So I have been craving watching Coco all day, literally all day. So I am watching Coco and I'm going to, this is the vibe, and it's going to be going to sit and crochet. been a positive day. I'm feeling really good about today and I feel like it's gonna mean that tomorrow when I hopefully wake up on time I will be able to take the positivity I felt today on to tomorrow. Ugh. If you are going to try and overcome any seasonal depression that might hit my number one like most important thing to do is treat yourself delicately and don't beat yourself up for not having done what you supposedly set out for at the beginning of the day or the week or whatever. Focus on what you have achieved rather than what you didn't achieve. Like as I was saying earlier, like in the gym, it's not going to be the most extraneous thing I've ever done because I am getting back into it. 
and I think you have to reward yourself for all the little things um, like going outside and going to the gym or going to exercise even for 10-20 minutes or like making something new or getting myself to group therapy and taking time for myself at the end of the day too like trying to crochet I did a few things I'm gonna keep doing them obviously whilst I watch Coco because I've not got very far in take care of yourself and give yourself the encouragement it needs because if you don't I know it's so much so easier said than done isn't it I hate on people online and like yeah make sure you do this when you and me both know sometimes it's really difficult but it really is just such a negative cycle to get into and I am feeling positive today whereas if I actually looked at the amount of practical work I do like practical like career work I actually got done it is quite small like in comparison to other days but I'm ending the day feeling positive at what I've achieved and I think it's just all about like being compassionate with you and focusing on yeah focusing on the good it's such a mindset thing which is so funny because mindset is just something I like really struggle with I've been able to get things done so much quicker if I'm in a positive mindset or if I'm feeling good rather than like feeling like I have no time to do anything it's so much easier to over over stress and over overdwell on things but take some time out even if it's just to sit in bed and, and watch Coco or do whatever but give yourself a break I'm here and I'm feeling it and we're gonna get through it together I hope that any of my therapist my therapy rules have been helpful or applicable to you and I hope that you are able to utilize them or come up with your own that obviously these are just for me personally um what i've worked through with my therapist and what i know help me and my brain but obviously everyone will be different i would recommend writing down things that do help but make them achievable don't say that you're gonna go to the gym six days a week and cook something new every day let's be real <laughs> thank you so much for watching i quite like this um, moody lighting at the end. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye. Love you. Bye.